We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight. It's too late to repent. Time to twirl! You couldn't have done it without me. Restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. Clemency? Never heard of it. Time to twirl! Time to twirl! I told you I could fight. have done it without me.
The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Step aside. I have no in- You couldn't have done it without me. It's too late to repent. Let's go. Batter up! You couldn't have done it without me. They all be empty. Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Clemency? Never heard of it. Time to twirl! Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? It's all yours! Time to twirl! have 
have done it without me. now or crash later? Life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Ch running into me. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Time to twirl! It's too late to repent. You must be honored to meet me. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! No interest in stoking conflict.
The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Ch Eric? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. Be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Two hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here. You can have this. 
What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. I thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you. Right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Carefully. The time is now. Side. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Oh, 
Sage are welcome! You can't run! Let's make it quick. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! You have the worst luck running into me! Stay right there while I give you a present! I won't break! Try that again! Oh, poor you! Now. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? What are you looking at? Clemency. I try hard Never sometimes. Heard of it. Check out this awesome move. I have no interest in the truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary is but a vision let's make it quick uh, rules are made to be broken Clemency? Never heard of it.
This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? to repent. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision! Let's make it quick. I told you I could fight. Give you a present! You must be honored to meet me. running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Step aside. I have no time now. of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Time to twirl! This is our chance. Time to twirl! Uh, 
rules are made to be broken! Told ya I could fight. You can't run. Let's go. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs... They seem to have become more narrow. It's too late to repent. The time is now. What about this? Time to twirl! Let's make it quick. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours! Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. We made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No... No... Empty! How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I 
I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Move carefully. Let's make it quick. Uh, rules are made to be broken! My turn! With me out here, how can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! You must be honored to meet me. Curious. You can't run! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary. It's but a vision! Let's go. Better up! You have the worst luck running into me! Stay right there while I give you a present! What are you looking at? It's gonna hurt. Try that again! Clemency? Never heard of it. Time to twirl! I told ya I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! My turn! It's gonna hurt! Was it? Oh, please. You don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over 10 years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure.
Ugh, this swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Ah, <sighs> it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm. How boorish. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away, be before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're... an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every 
day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? What? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. <sighs> I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Mention it, Clara. Warning, warning, danger detected. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't stop. I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh! I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if 
everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svara, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Svarag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarag doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Svarov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes. Mr. Svarag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag. But no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila? Did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... Can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Be careful, though. Metal plates and bandages. Rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. 